So, what is ICD-10? ICD-10 stands for International Classification of Diseases 10th Edition. It's the new and improved updated version of ICD-9. Now, ICD-10 is split into two systems. ICD-10-CM, clinical modification for diagnostic coding used by all healthcare providers, and ICD-10-PCS, procedure coding system for inpatient procedure reporting used by hospitals. Why do we have to move to ICD-10? Two reasons. One, ICD-9 is over 40 years old. And two, ICD-9 has run out of room. There are just no more numbers to use. With new discoveries and diseases, the new ICD-10 code set is needed to keep up with the fast-paced changes in medicine today and to add more detail to diagnosis codes. Actually, the U.S. is one of the last countries in the world to adopt ICD-10. We better get moving because they're already working on ICD-11. As you know, ICD-9 codes have only five mostly numeric digits with a few E and V codes thrown in for good measure. ICD-10 codes are alphanumeric with letters and numbers mixed in. Codes can have three, four, five, six, or seven digits. For comparison, ICD-9 has 14,000 codes, ICD-10, 69,000. So you may ask, how am I supposed to learn 69,000 codes? Don't get too scared. A chunk of those new codes have to do with laterality or location on the body. You will, though, have to know more about anatomy in ICD-10 when you look up a code in the book because the index is laid out by organs and structures. The higher level of detail that ICD-10 offers will help standardize data for analysis and streamline the claim submission process. The extra detail will make the claims easier for payers to understand and pay, or so they say. And guess what law requires us to move to ICD-10? HIPAA. And you just thought HIPAA meant you couldn't tell your neighbor about your patient's nasty rash. When will ICD-10 be implemented? It's already been changed a few times. Will it be postponed once more? Only time will tell. Keep in mind that whenever ICD-10 takes effect, by not coding and documenting properly, your revenue and cash flow will suffer, and you will have to spend a lot more time correcting, appealing, and resubmitting claims. Oh, and did I mention that the AMA said it would cost practices thousands of dollars to implement ICD-10? Nuts, huh?